In this question, we're told this point lies in this circle. And we're asked to find the equation of the tangent to the circle at that point. So I think a working sketch would be useful in this case. So let's first of all find out about the circle. Method for finding the centre of a circle. You write the equation down and make sure that you've got 1x squared and 1y squared. If that is the case, then you look at the coefficient of x, the coefficient of y, it's the negative 8 and the negative 6, and you half them and change the sign. So that would be positive 4, positive 3. So it's half negative 8, negative 4, and change the sign to positive 4. Half negative 6, negative 3, change it to positive 3. Now that system works if you've got 1x squared and 1y squared. So there's the centre. So let's put that on the diagram. 4 along, 3 up, there's the centre of the circle. Now we also are told that negative 2, 1, lies on the circle. So I'm seeing that as a radius and there's my circle. So the tangent I'm after is going to come down here to the point P and touch. And remember, from the point of contact to the centre on that circle is a right angle. And since I'm trying to find the equation of this line, I'll be using the formula y minus b equals mx minus a. And remember, that's when you have a point a, b on the line, you know its gradient is m. That's the equation of the line. So we certainly know a point on the tangent. That's the point negative 2, 1. We have to find the gradient. So there's our first task. And finding the gradient of this tangent, we can't find it directly. We have to look at the gradient of this radius. And then the gradient of the tangent is perpendicular to that. So let's first work out the gradient of CP. That's the radius gradient. Y difference over X difference. So the Y difference, 3 minus 1. X difference, 4 minus negative 2. It's the difference of the two X coordinates. So that's 2 over 4 plus 2, 6. So that's one third. Now that would mean that the gradient of a perpendicular, a line perpendicular to that, would be, well, remember the method, turn it upside down, invert it, and change the sign. So that's negative three. Remember a gradient times the perpendicular gradient is negative one. So, gradient of tangent is negative 3. And look at the diagram. 1 along, 3 down. 1 along, 3 down. That's what negative 3 means for a gradient. That looks okay for the gradient of that tangent. So, gradient of tangent is negative 3. Point on tangent is negative 2, 1. Now remember M and AB, that's our thinking. So the equation of the tangent is, and then this is what we're using, Y minus B equals MX minus A. So it's Y minus B, that's the Y coordinate of the point on the tangent, Y minus 1 equals 
m, that's the gradient, negative 3, times x minus a, and the x coordinate is negative 2. So that'll be y minus 1 equals negative 3x plus 2. Take away negative 2 is plus 2. Let's get rid of brackets. Negative 3x and negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And let's tidy up by adding 1 to both sides. And 1 on to the negative 6 is negative 5. So there is the equation of the tangent at p. And we've double check that we've got y equals mx plus c there, that m gradient is negative 3. We've just figured out that that makes sense there, one along 3 down, and crosses the y-axis at negative 5. That makes sense. It's certainly in the right place. So there we go. y equals negative 3x minus 5. Alternatively, you could write y plus 3x equals negative 5.